Hello everybody, um, it's really good to be back. Sorry, I've been missing for a while. I haven't been posting much, um, I know, but I was really busy with work and I was traveling quite a bit and it just got the best of me. Um, but I'm back, I have a couple of cool ideas for videos. Um, so I'm really excited to share them with you and record them for you. Um, so basically today I'd like to show you how to retouch a photo using Dodge and Burn on me. I'm not going to be using anything else other than the occasional patch tool. Um, but other than that, there's no other curves, it's only Dodge and Burn and that's it. So let's get right into it and I hope you enjoy it and give the video a thumbs up if you liked. For those of you who watched my first ever tutorial, um, I used Dodge and Burn to retouch the skin. I didn't really get into it too much, um, I just explained it very briefly and I kind of decided that it deserves its own video because it's such a good skin retouching technique. Um, so yeah. Okay, to get started with dodging and burning, I, create, I press Alt and New Layer in the bottom right of the screen. I select Mode and Soft Light and then Fill with 50% Grey. Next on, I select Adjustment Layers and I create a um, black and white layer. Um, this is just to basically show all the skin imperfections and, um, you know, it's just easier to see it in black and white than it would be in color. Finally, I create a new curves layer. Um, I two, put two points at each end of the curve and then I drag the curve downwards. Um, I also create another point um, on the downwards curve and you'll see yourself, um, it kind of shows a bit more detail and you know, it kind of shows you better where the shadows or the highlights are or need to be. Okay, now that we are all set up, we're ready to start our dodging and burning. I will use uh, the white brush to highlight any areas and I'll use the black brush um, anywhere that needs a bit more shadow. Just make sure that the flow is very, very low. Um, I stick um, around 3%, 3-5%, sometimes maybe a bit higher, um, but usually it's a very, very low flow. Um, I keep the opacity at 100%. So every time I dodge and burn, I always start with evening out the skin first and then going into highlighting and shading. Um, so I'll have a look at the skin quite close up, see if there's any darker spots and go over it with a white brush. Basically, the goal is to make the skin look as even as possible. If there's any lines in the makeup, or if there's any, you know, bumps in the skin, or scars, or anything like that, it's small little things, but um, they're quite easy to fix with the dodge and burn. So, so I'm just going over that, um, as I said, to make sure that the skin is as even as possible in color. Um, as you see, my model's skin is really good, the makeup is really good, um, she has quite a lot of freckles, um, I'm going to leave that, I, I love the freckles, um, I don't see a problem in them, um, I just want to make sure that the rest of the skin's even. So as you see, I decided to deselect the curves in the black and white layer, it's just because in this particular case, when I'm looking at the skin, I need to see a bit more detail to make sure that the skin doesn't turn white because as you see it's um it's kind of on the edge of it so so i just want to go over any bumps or any imperfections and then i'll go over the cheek line with a bit of a dark color to kind of even it out and as i said so you don't have those um those white spots anywhere I am going to add a good bit of shadows on the lid to make the color, uh, colors pop. I'm going to add some shadows at, at the side of the nose, on the cheeks, um, on the eyebrows. I am going to highlight the hair uh, where you can see the nice little highlight. Um, so as I said, this is kind of using the dodge and burn instead of a contrast curve or just curves in general. Um, it can give you a nice effect. I'm 
I'm going to spend a bit more time on the forehead um, I just because I'm not using any other tools because you know I could use a brush and just go over it a bit and to smooth it out a bit but for the purpose of this video I am going to go into a bit more detail um, on the forehead um, kind of you know even out any darker um, areas and then any brighter areas um, I'm going to switch on the black and white and curves back on so I can see a bit more detail again this is going to take a bit more time um, and it's a bit of a of a chore but I think it's going to be worth it and it's going to look nice and even at the end So no, sometimes you do um, highlights and shadows and you find that you went a bit too far. Um, that's why I'm going to put my um, Dodge and Burn layer on opacity 90% just to bring the highlight down a tiny bit because I feel like they're a tiny bit too strong. Um, it's going to affect the whole face but I think it's still going to look good. So so obviously you can put it down even lower if you think that you've overdone, overdone it. I'm going to select the background really quickly, I think it needs a bit of darkness so I'm just going to grab a black brush and um, just go over it. It's going to give a nice depth to the Im image and I'm also going to go over the shadows on the chin, on the eyes, um, just to kind of make it look a bit more contrasty. to crop the image ever so slightly um, I feel like there is a tiny bit too much chest in the photo and um, I want all the focus to be on the face um, I like to use the one-third rule where the eyes are the one-third of the image obviously it's not necessary sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but for this particular image it does you can see a bit, be a bit of a before and after um, as you see, the shadows and the highlights are way more defined. There is no visible bumps, um, or you know, but but the skin still has nice texture. So. I'm going to select my background again. Um, I'm going to also go to um, select modify expand and i'm going to expand the selection by two pixels so once that um, that's selected i'm going to go over the background with the dark brush again and then i am going to grab the brush and just go over the line of the hair between the line you know the hair and the background ever so slightly to make sure that there's still no um no little you know white areas or kind of bright areas left um, I see there's tiny little hair sticking out. I would usually fix it, but just because I'm only using um, 
you know, um, dodge and burn, I'm just going to leave it for now, but I would normally fix it. Okay, so that's it guys, as you can see here is the final before and after, um, the skin is nice and clean, um, but there is still nice texture, it has a beautiful glow and um, all the imperfections are gone. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you found it helpful, please let me know if you have any questions, I'm going to try and answer it. Also, um, if you try this technique and you really like it, please tag me in the photos, I would love to see them, I'd love to see how you get on. Um, and that's it, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up, let me know what would you like to see next and I'm going to talk to you soon.